Hi. Hi, this is Robin from Picture Instruments, and in this video I will show you how our software Chroma Mask is constructed. How to use this software to automatically mask during a live shoot will be the topic of another video. Let's start at the beginning and reset everything to default. First I open an image, which has been shot in front of a green, blue or red background. Then I select the corresponding background color. Now I want to optimize the mask. The edge mode helps me determine which areas are not yet 100% transparent or opaque. If there are no semi-transparent objects, like for instance glass in the picture, only the transition areas or the edges should be highlighted while in edge mode. To optimize the mask, I move the left tone value control to the right until all areas I want to remove from the image are transparent. Then I move the right tone value control to the left until all parts of the subject are opaque. To avoid crushing the tone values too much, I remove the rest of the background with the brush and the shrink mask feature. To remove areas with no colored background along the edges of the image, I use the shrink mask feature. I simply drag the frame into the image far enough to remove everything I definitely don't need. To remove areas that I can't crop in this manner, I simply use the black brush. With the white brush, I can remove transparencies within my subject. If these brush adjustments match several images, I can simply copy and paste them. I use this control to remove the remaining green spill along the edges of the subject. It's easiest to judge this with a black background. All right, we're done with masking our subject. Now I could save it in front of a white, black, or transparent background, but in this case, I want to place my subject in front of a different background. I choose a background which I can eventually blur if need be. If I so wish, I can apply a color look to my subject to better match it to the background. You can find more information on color correction and lookup tables in our product videos about the look converter, the unlimited filters, and the color cone. If you want to use the combination of this particular background with this color correction regularly, like for instance for themed shoots, you can save it as a theme. Every theme will have a thumbnail to recall it at any later time. After selecting the storage path and the output size, you can use this button to save the finished image or use the adjacent button to save all images that are located within the same folder as the image currently open. So far, we have only worked in our target image mode, but sometimes it can be quite useful to have a peek at the original image to determine why in certain areas it is harder to mask because, for instance, a shadow is covering the background. In the mask mode, you can see the optimized mask, which is the basis for the cropping. In semi-transparent objects, this mode makes it easier to see gradients than by using the target image. By clicking on this button, you only see the background. Regardless of which image you are currently looking at, only the target image will be saved. For all of you who wish to see how Chroma Mask automatically masks during a live shoot beyond the basic features, we have shot an additional tutorial which you can find on our website or on our YouTube and Vimeo channels. If you don't usually work with moving subjects, but rather with products or models that don't have to move during the shoot, I recommend you have a look at our software Mask Integrator, which has been the basis for developing Chroma Mask. Have fun masking automatically, and until next time, bye-bye.